trailer. This year's gonna be. It's a cold one this morning. What's going on guys and welcome back. So I am uh, back up here almost at Southside Sales and Service as you saw in the video before. Uh, I was just up here this past weekend and uh, just so happened that my 24 Assault Boost showed up uh, when we were up here but we only had Nito's truck so I had no way of getting it home. So I am actually going back up here to go and build my sled. Holy smokes, they're snowed here. that guys huh so I am almost here I got my Woody's hat and my Woody's sweatshirt on they sent me a huge care package a big shout out to them I'll go over that in another video but uh, yep guys we're almost here and gonna be putting my sled together also first first real drive with the uh, the tow pig and our nitro XPS trailer towed like a dream uh, Ford rather thirsty so uh, if anyone would like to potentially sponsor for fuel I am open to uh, anything and I'm serious about that I'll put my email below email me if you're interested in sponsoring the channel for some fuel this year he showed up way faster than we anticipated and it snowed like I said we get two wind. We get a sled and we get to see snow. These wrappers are annoying. <laughs> Just a tad. Miles deals with them all the time. <laughs> they can be a pain, a real pain. There she blows, boys and girls. So we're gonna get her inside, build her, and get out of the freezing cold, because it's actually cold out today. So, but it's here, it's finally here. Oh, Billy. <clears throat> can, you believe, can you guys believe that I'm on a 146? Because I honestly can't. Not right now. What I'm excited for. Miles, are you excited? excited. Okay, here we are. So I did. I went Assault 146 Boost. I really enjoyed my Boost last year, especially for where I ride in Tug Hill. Um, it just kind of fits that, you know, the naturally aspirated stuff. Um, runs really good. The Boost just has that extra little oomph up top which is kind of what i like um so i went back with a boost again this year but i did go into the salt and if you guys have been here a while and you saw when i ordered this last year you kind of had the the reasoning behind it is pretty much you know polaris didn't come out with anything new this year which isn't the end of the world so i didn't want to do the same thing that i've done the past couple years so i didn't want to go back to an xcr and i didn't want to do another vr1 boost because we already did that <clears throat> so I went with a 146 and that's a good thing for you guys because if you guys have an assault and you have a 146 or even a 144 you know we're going to be doing so much tuning and testing on suspension and seeing what these sleds like and what they don't like and that's kind of our plan for the year is really to get a very good understanding and a good feel for these sleds and how they work and you know obviously what we like and you know not that we're the best in the world but you know we do understand kind of what's going on with these things so that is our ultimate goal this year is to really get these things working as good as they possibly can. So when you guys call, we have setups from A to Z, from weights 110 to 410. And, uh, you know, you could get your sled riding right. So we're just going to go through, 
color is changing. I'm just gonna say that right now, guys. So that is kind of what we're gonna do here shortly is uh, rip everything apart and switch all the colors. So I will check back in with you guys. I feel like I say this too often, but brand new sled torn apart, which I guess is kind of our MO. So we're down doing the same thing that we just did to Nito's XC, just switching all the covers colors over. So I had to pull the whole console off to get to these little star bits. They're quite annoying, but uh, get a better look inside these whole boosts here. It's a lot going on down there. So the fuel line recall is done on the 24s that showed up. Uh, 23s obviously have to get it done. We have a video coming on uh, the recalls here in a little bit. But uh, we're just moving and grooving here. You guys are probably gonna know, I don't know what the thumbnail is gonna be, but you're probably gonna know what the picture is or the color is, but. So we're getting going. Boost actually have a new belt this year. Um, they're a little bit skinnier than they were last year to help the creep issues. Um, I'm not thrilled about that because the width of them was really nice for, uh, for a mile an hour. So we're gonna have to see what that changes, but I'm sure Will from Velocity Sled Performance will get us all set up in that department. Other than that, uh, we have a battery on charge over there, but we're just slamming this thing together. Are you guys excited that I'm on an assault or no? Because I am. Believe it or not, I really am. So if I want a short track, I'll just go to, oh, can't look at that. Pete, how's your day going, bud? Oh, just wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> the, everything that could go wrong today is potentially going wrong we're sweat he's having a bad day too but we are getting closer to putting this thing back together got the hood all swapped over um I'm partially regretting my decision already of going to white because you touch it and it gets dirty and i know this because i've had a sled before that was all white and I forgot about all this. And now that I'm building this one, it's like, oh, what did I do? But panels are coming together. White, 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 very white. So just gotta put a uh, top off the chain case because Claris only puts a certain amount in there. I'm not sure the theory behind that, but they do. Uh, so we'll top that off. I just topped off my oil reservoir on this side. I got to get spare belts, spare plugs, little stuff like that. Um, and then a plethora of things to take home with me, like tunnel protectors, as we will be studying this, obviously, with Woody Studs. Um, but, yeah, guys, we went all white this year. So, yes, it is getting wrapped. It's not staying compo completely white. But uh, this is just the base of what is to come. So can you guys guess theories of what I'm wrapping it like, colors, designs so on and so forth so i'm excited probably be wrapping it this weekend first fire up for the 24 boost assault and this 650 adventure is also coming home good friend of ours uh family friend of ours bought that so Mm-hmm. 
successful first run for both. I'm gonna let them cool down, check <clears throat> everything, run them again, and throw them in the box, and we're heading home. So, I'm, um, what time is it? I wanted to be out of here at 12. I'm not that far behind schedule, so not doing too bad. Two, we're locked and loaded. I had to get 10 gallons of oil for Frank, and then uh, I'm hitting the road. Miles, thank you as always. As always, I'm here. And we're officially home. Seven and a half hours, 44 gallons of fuel later, we're home with the new toys. So we're gonna get them unloaded into the shop, and then we'll talk about them more inside. But wow, this thing looks so good at night. I just can't get over how good this came out. Just like aesthetically pleasing with the lights, you know, the running lights, the back lights, so nice. And these backup lights, first time I've done it in the in the dark, unbelievable. Big shout out to Nitro Trailers, guys. Whew. The next day, we are now in the shop. Uh, yesterday was a really long day, so I did not finish out the video yesterday. Uh, I'm battling a head cold right now, so I kind of feel like crap, but uh, new buggy is in the sled or in the stable. Frank sled, Nito sled. We're starting to look like a, like a friggin' new Polaris dealer in here. Uh, minus, don't look at those names of that. But uh, got the sled in here last night. Got some goodies lined up already on it. Um, there's some goodies on the way. So this would be, you know, my full build like I do every year. So um, little by little, as things start trickling in, we'll start kind of putting them on and going through that. But like I said in the video, I think I want to say most likely Sunday, I'm going to be wrapping this thing because I really want to see what it looks like. Um, so we'll go from there, but, uh, you know, stay tuned. I appreciate all the support throughout the last couple of years on all the builds, different builds that we've done. Um, this is no different, you know, this thing's going to be, you know, top to bottom, you know, full Jesse James Southside 322 threads build like we do every year. So, uh, very excited for it. Um, big thank you to all the sponsorships and partnerships that I have, uh, gotten over the years. I know I say this all the time, but you know, without them, I cannot do it. So all the parts that are coming, all the partnerships that I have with all these companies, uh, big shout out to them. They make this entire thing possible. So thank you. Thank you guys behind the camera. I appreciate it. And uh, but that is going to do it, guys. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for this build and that build and all the builds that we have there this upcoming season. See ya.